the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel means good news or elangelion in Greek, the good news. And it used to be that heralds would go into the town and uh, herald the news of the day. Um, and there's this claim in the Bible that the good news is everlasting. There's the, the good news of heaven is eternal. And the good news culminates on the cross of Calvary. Let me explain. We have been created in the image of God. Humanity is above the animals. We have dominion. We have been made in the image of God. We have minds, spirits, affections. We, we, we've been made in the image of God for His glory. But humanity on every occasion rejected the ways of God and, and we fell into rebellion through, through the seed of Adam. He, sin entered the world through Adam and Eve. And we had nations living in rebellion and God revealed himself to the nation of Israel and said, you will be my people to represent me on the earth. Here are my commandments, here are my precepts. And um, very rarely did they manage to oh, hold them, to, to, keep, to keep them because they were in the seed of Adam. They were under sin, they were in rebellion. And so they lived, continued to live in rebellion. There were glimpses of men and, and women who um, God would use and would be people of faith. You know, we think of Abraham, Moses, um, David, uh, you know, the prophets. Um, it, but still they were broken men. They were still in rebellion to God's ways. And then we read in the Bible of the man Jesus, born in Bethlehem, in a manger. And there's this incredible claim that Jesus was himself God, the one who we bow to, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. In fact, the wise men, when they came to present Jesus with gifts, bowed, and the shepherds bowed to Jesus. They knew, in part, who he was. And Jesus, who himself was God, humbled himself unto death, even death on the cross. And we know that death on the cross uh, is actually accursed. And that was ultimately God's plan, is that God himself would take the curse of death upon himself. The, the, the judgment, the wrath that we deserve, he would take upon himself so that we might enter back into communion with God, that we might be back into relationship with God, not by um, duty, not by being right, not by being a nice person, but by the good work of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross who himself has power and dominion and authority to take the judgment for our behalf, for on our account. So this is the good news, is that not just the Jews can know God, but all nations can come into the house of God through faith in Jesus Christ. But it's not just faith, it's a recognition that we are in rebellion to God and His ways. As, as the people He has created, we are in rebellion and we repent and say, I fall short, God. I fall short. And you repent and you have faith in Jesus and what He did on the cross of Calvary that He took our curse upon that tree, that we might be redeemed. This is the good news. This is the eternal good news. This is the everlasting good news, that Jesus conquered the grave. 
and he took the wrath upon himself that we deserve, that we might live life to the full in this age and in the age to come. So don't have apathy, don't be controlled by the systems of the world, but instead be filled up with wells of salvation that flow from Jesus Christ. Believe in him, call out to him, and he is able to save you. The Bible says that Jesus is the firstborn of the new creation, and that all who believe in him will be brought into heavenly places and will be seated at the right hand of the Father. So, so leave the death, the mud and mire of the world and, and come out from under the wrath of God and come into Jesus' sheepfold, come into his house, come into his, under his protection. He's our rock, he's our protection. That is the good news.